I thought I would shoot this second video to talk about some of the lessons I've learned in uh, implementing the Big D desktop interface for the Soundcraft UI24R mixer. I discovered that the B-Link Mini PC I used has some thermal issues. I finally narrowed it down to problems with the PC cooling. It would just simply shut off at some point. Now I've got it resolved by putting an external fan next to the uh, B-Link PC, Mini PC, and now you can see my temperatures are below 60 degrees Celsius. And it seems like with that I can run it as long as I want to. Now I have not tried this out in hot weather, so perhaps the acid test will be to see what happens when I take it out into the Arizona heat in the middle of summer. I had this set up on a rolling cart. And it works really well for my in-home uh, rehearsal space. I don't have anything plugged into it right now because I was using it for an external gig. But uh, this uh, rolling cart works really well, and I'll put the link to this and other things I talk about in the description below. But you can see it's on wheels. It's fairly lightweight, but it's plenty sturdy enough to hold this. That bag right there in front is what I use to transport the UI24R. I do not put it into a rack mixer because I want it to have full cooling and don't want to have any issues, heat issues, for the UI24R when I'm using it on the road. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and tilt up the monitor now so we can take a look at what it is that I'm using to cool the B-Link computer. So I've got this little fan, again, link in the description below blowing air into the directly into the uh, B-Link mini PC that's on the back and I mounted all of this on a 1 8 inch piece of plexiglass. The stand it comes uh, with the uh, mounting hardware necessary to permit uh, mounting the monitor with a separate monitor mount. The nice thing about it is that I can undo the monitor with that one knurled screw when I want to take it on the road. So it's very easy to install and uninstall in this home rehearsal space. And uh, it does have a little bit of noise. You can hear that fan. I measured it at about 40 decibels. But when you're playing, of course, you don't hear it at all. I would not want that in my, rehear in my recording space. But for what I'm doing here, it works just great. I'm going to also mention, because I use this for a production involving a large choir and an orchestra, and uh, there were six soloist mics and two narrator mics. We had the harp uh, mic, a solo cello mic, and then we also had uh, two mic overheads for the choir because they were being overpowered a little bit by the orchestra. Here are some of those uh, channels that I have set up. The choir overheads, narrator, solos, narrator, cello, and so forth. And that just worked very well. Now what, what I was able to do by using the USB stick I recorded all of those channels. Now, because we did not have a separate recorder on the orchestra itself, I put up a little uh, digital uh, Tascam recorder in front, and I just uh, combined all of the channels together to create a comprehensive recording. When you bring the tracks into a DAW, at least into my cakewalk that I use, they come perfectly into separate channels, or separate tracks, rather, in the DAW. So it was just really trouble-free to bring in the tracks, even though I had a, a bunch of them uh, in the UI24R. It recorded those, and I was able to work with those very easily. So there's some uh, more information about the 
Big D desktop setup that I've been using and the functionality of the Soundcraft UI24R mixer.